On this problem, we want to find a right triangle that has one given angle in radians, pi over three. And then we're also given the hypotenuse for this one. So our goal is find all those unknown sides and then the remaining angle that we also don't know. So as I get going on these, I always just draw a picture. Um, nice right triangle. It doesn't have to be the scale by any means. I'll try to label things as we go. So I'm going to go A, B, and C. I tend to use C as being our uh, right angle down here in the corner, labeling things. Um, angle C, so side C is going to be opposite that. I'm going to say that's going to be our 20 because we were told the hypotenuse um, is 20. So that's always going to be across from the right angle. Um, I'm going to say A is going to be our pi over three. That angle up there, I could have easily just made it as B. And again, this is not drawn to scale by any means. I'm going to label this side B because it's across from angle B as I labeled it. And then this side A because it's across from angle A as I labeled it. All right, first thing I'm going to try to do is go ahead. Probably the easiest one is find um, B. Okay, so B, this angle, we, we know that angles always add up to 180 degrees. But when we're dealing with radian measure, it's important to remember that 180 degrees is equivalent to pi. So if I start with my 180 degrees or pi, and I subtract away our other two angles that we know, so pi over three, and then 90 degrees is pi over two, what remains is going to be this last angle. So to do the subtraction, it's probably important that we get a common denominator first. So I'm going to visualize this as pi over one. I think our common denominator has to be six. So uh, one pi is equivalent to six pi over six. Thinking six divided by six makes one, just like we had one pi here. Um, to convert this over to a denominator of six, I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator each by two. So two pi. Over six, two six is equivalent to one third. And then for our last fraction, to get a six in our denominator, I'm gonna multiply by three over three. So six thirds is equivalent to one half. Okay, so now that we have this common denominator across the board, we can combine our numerators and keep that common denominator. So we can say six pies minus two pies minus three pies leaves us with one pi and keep the common denominator. So pi over six. All right, to find A and to find B, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on this angle, pi over three. And as I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and label this as our opposite side, our adjacent side, and then our hypotenuse is gonna be the 20 as, as indicated from the very beginning. All right, to get these set up, what I wanna do is I'm gonna use SOHCAHTOA. So um, SOHCAHTOA tells us sign, is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if I wanna find A and get that one involved, what I'm gonna do is say that sine of pi over three is gonna be our opposite A over the hypotenuse, which we said was 20. So I've got an equation that only has this one unknown, the A, and to solve for A, we just need to move the 20 to the other side. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by 20. So that leaves us with 20 multiplied by sine of pi over three. Well, hopefully we're comfortable with pi over three is one of our special angles that comes up a bunch. Get a chart that has this on it, um, that we can replace this with sine of pi over three is equivalent to the square root of three over two. And on the right-hand side, we're just left with eight. With a little reducing down here, we can visualize that 20 as being in the numerator or 20 over one is equivalent to 20. So we have 20 in the numerator divided by two in the denominator, 20 divided by two makes 10. Bring along the square root of three, and now we have A. So this side is gonna be 10 square root of three. And I completely agree that if you were thinking the next step, if we have two of our three sides, we can go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem. I'll agree with that completely. You could a squared plus b squared equals c squared. However, for our purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and use cosine of this pi over three. So I can set up cosine of pi over three is gonna be from SOHCAHTOA adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent in our case is b over the hypotenuse, which is 20. 
Now I have an equation involving B that I want to solve down for, for B. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 20. This gives us 20 multiplied by the cosine of pi over three. Pi over three, it, uh, cosine of pi over three is one half. Again, from one of those charts with this being a special angle that comes up a bunch. So that'll get B on one side, 20 times one half just gives us 10. So that side length is going to be 10. We solve for all of the side lengths, all of the angles. We've solved this right triangle. Hope this helps out. Uh, again, if you've used Pythagorean theorem instead, that would be perfectly fine. Uh, we'd get to the exact same answers. So good luck as you're working through right triangles.